Hey guys, this is Sammy Kisan here, and I'm going to teach you how to take your freaking Fortnite from your old PC or when you're installing a new operating system, save it, and then you can like load it into the new operating system or into another PC without having to download the whole game. So uh, here we go. First of all, you need to know that you have an Epic Games folder which has a Fortnite folder which has these two folders you need to know that you have to have this epic game folder and these two folders in it for it to work and all you need to, uh, just to make sure that this is the actual game and we're not just copying launcher we're gonna make sure that this is the game by checking the file size as it says 31 gigabytes yeah that's okay it will fit pretty much big since the last time I saw it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the epic launcher we're gonna once you have downloaded and installed the epic launcher which is pretty simple in itself it's just an installation and if you can't install that then you shouldn't be watching this video you should be watching the other video that I'm going to make maybe maybe not so let's just get on with this and for now you need to just do this is like click on the free button and then a screen will pop up telling you to agree to this shit and you just gotta go through this thing if you want to like if you're a lawyer or something and you understand these terms otherwise you can just hit accept and it will take you to some place else I hope excuse me please move are we gonna get something now? Is it gonna work? Hello? Yeah, sometimes happens. Things like this happens all the time when you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Hmm. Come on. I know I have a slow internet, so this is probably because I have a slow internet and this is taking a while to load. But like it will be instantaneous for people from uh, European nations or from America or Canada, so I don't think it's going to be a much of a problem. Here, here are the minimum requirements and the recommended requirements for the Fortnite game for Windows and for Mac. Uh, I don't understand how the Mac specification works, so I'm just going to hover over to the Windows one. You can run Fortnite on a four gigabytes of RAM. That is actually cool because. I do have 8GB of RAM, but the thing is that I'm currently using a system that does not have a dedicated graphic cards, so I'm using an AMD A8 6500B, which is probably a good quad-core processor with a decent enough, uh, like a integrated chip for pro processing graphics that I can probably run this game but like as I said I'm not going to say anything further uh, it's not appearing I'm not sure what's happening this time why would it do this if it's not going to load it what is wrong with these games man is your launcher broken or something give me the game man give me the game already what is wrong with you people uh, Come on, come on, come on. What? Oh, oh. So it's loading. Well, once it's loaded from the library, there's an install button. When you click on the install button, it starts with a preparing thing, and you got to uncheck the auto update because you don't want to auto update your game because it's fucking boring. Who cares? Like. Now you need to notice this thing. This thing right here. This is the locate. This this over there is the location of your folder where your Epic Games folder is supposed to be placed. And this here, this this part here, the options the path of your Fortnite game. This is the Fortnite game path. And you need to understand that this is this is your Fortnite game. Then you're gonna place these four folders over there somehow. I'm gonna walk you through it right now we're gonna hit install it's in queue 
let's see let's see come on come on come on come on come on this is the new launcher because I'm making this video on Monday January 14 2019 so basically I'm going to make this video right now and I'm gonna upload it in like one or two hours because I'm not gonna edit it because if I edit it you guys are probably not gonna edit it for like two or three days so yeah I'm just going to make this if it actually works right now <sighs> excuse me can I get something a glass of water or something please could you please load this is horrible because the internet is horrible right now and once again we're back because it started to install there was a freaking window on top of things that I had to close apparently because it's not relevant to what I want to do I don't want to add friends I don't have any so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check okay it started installing we're gonna cancel this I have no idea why but we are gonna cancel it anyways and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna close the launcher we're gonna make sure we exit it and yeah oh come on now we need to go over to the C program files and epic games now this right here this program files actually the epic games fortnite and we have this folder here called this this is something that is installed in patch data or something like this we need to go back into the basic epic games folder what we need to do right now is go back to this fortnite folder we're going to delete the one that is in our program files right now and then we're going to drag this one into our program files and something changed apparently something too heavy i guess uh, doesn't matter because who cares now we're gonna run the epic launcher again just to be sure that we're doing the right thing it should load up and when we resume it will probably work and if it doesn't work then we can just chill back and we can try again probably it's going to work So meanwhile, while the launcher loads and we can like install the game, check out my channel because I only just started it. There is only one video and it's not worth it watching. I mean, it's worth watching, but it's not that good. But like, I would like it if you could subscribe to my channel. Me subscribing to my channel is like me not a good idea. And if you can hit the bell button, then you would get my inst uh, notifications for my videos instantaneously. Because I'm going to make a lot of them. I'm going to make videos for League of Legends and for Fortnite if I can actually record on this PC a Fortnite game. For so, since I'm not gay, I'm not gonna subscribe to myself. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back to the whole thing about the Fortnite. Now we resume. Let's see. We hit the resume button, and it should be working pretty better now. Let's see what's doing. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Show me, show me the money. Hey, come on. <laughs> this 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 is probably because of my slow ass system or because I have a slow ass uh, like internet but we should be better because yeah you see it, this is installing like it's only going to read data from the place we place it and then it's going to load it and it's gonna verify how much data do that we have actually put into it so we should be good to go now because this is pretty much the whole thing 
we are talking about here and uh, pardon my voice because I'm really sick right now I don't have a voice much to tell you anything right now so it's gonna verify itself and uh, yeah we just gotta wait so while we are waiting I'm gonna tell you about this really amazing game called League of Legends it's installed on my PC and this is there are two of them somehow and it took care of this interesting oh this is a PVE yeah uh, yeah okay I don't care I have the PBE and the League of Legends normal version so I'm going to run League of Legends and ah, if it loads if it loads today what would I give to take you away the slow slow slowest PC I have is really the problem yeah you should be fine if you have a decent PC with a like a entry point graphic card like this should things should run like butter on your systems because I have a really old PC and monitor resolution I'm using is really ridiculous as well because it's not one of your standard ones this is a 16 ratio 10 so my videos are gonna be a little bit clipped off if I'm to say things I'm going to log in if it actually logs in with another game running then we'll know how efficient this is so since we have already copied this thing we're gonna delete this folder we're gonna unplug the drive that we just copied the folder from and we're gonna chill oh yeah League of Legends is loading and this is still gonna verify it's gonna take a long time to verify so while we are verifying our Fortnite files, I'm gonna go over something that you guys should be interested in. If you, if you, some most of the people who play League of Legends are already playing Fortnite too. So most of the people watching this video, or who will watch this video, will probably know what League of Legends is. And if you don't know, then uh, I have no idea where you living for like past ten years or uh, something. So. We're gonna go over the profile. And I'm gonna show you. This is my IGN, and uh, you can add me in the game. And uh, if I'm not spammed enough, I'll accept you because I literally need a lot of more friends because I only have this much. Oh, I do have a lot of friends in the game. This interesting. Okay. So the purpose of these things is that I want you to like be acquainted with the games I'm playing right now and why I'm playing this game because it's it gives me a challenge it gives me something to look forward to like it's not easy you can't win this game alone you have to communicate to your teammates you have to tell them what to do you have to uh, listen to them if they are better than you and you need to use your brains instead of just fucking firing a gun at people and just trying to shoot them down from the fucking parachutes or something like that you understand what I mean so like as I said that this is going to be a little bit annoying for the far part because the game is still loading <laughs> we're gonna talk about it anyways so this is my ear in review right now because um, I started playing this game in 2016 I believe and, but I created this account last year, like I think at the end of uh, like season seven. So that would be around October or September of uh, 2017. So it it shows that all the things that I've done this year, like gold per minute, like all my stats for this game, fastest Baron. Oh, that's that's actually impressive. This this is a very impressive stat. Like, if you took Baron this early, then you're a fucking legend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and this shows how much kill tricks I've been uh, doing the whole game. Uh, overall, in the whole year, like there are typically p five people in the game, so the double kills will be there very very consequently 
like in a row you kill two people then in similarly in a row you kill three people then after that you kill four people in a row and then there is a pentakill this is the highest like the honor the most valuable thing in a game is your pentakills because people record that shit and I'm stupid and an idiot I did not record that shit and now it's lost so what we're gonna do is yeah we're gonna just think about it maybe next time I got a pentakill I'll record it and I'll fucking put it on the YouTube because that's what people do and that's how they make money and this is still verifying the files it's gonna take a while but not uh, as long now because it's almost done so when it's done we will move on to that one so in League of Legends people love me 69 times like that is really funny and I don't know if like Riot Games is playing a joke on me but this is really good like this 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 is the honor people give you when they like ga playing games with you this is what they give you when they like your leadership and this is when they give you when they have actually flamed you and you didn't like flame them back or something <laughs> and uh, then this is my okay I have played a lot of Garen this is brainless and I've played Fiora and Udyr Th these are my most played champions in 2018 this is my damage, all the damage I did, and uh, okay, let's see. I have a 4.7 KDA on Anivia. I have a 76.9 percent win rate on Master Yi, and a average of 6.1 CS per minute. That is not bad. The most people I've died to is Yasuo, and killed most is also Yasuo. And last to most is a rumble somehow. One against most, I've literally de decimated Rise in every game I go against him. Like, I know how it works. I played it for a while, and this is the two roles that I basically play the top and the jungle. And like, I played 42.6% of my games in the top lane, and 33% of uh. 33.2% of my games in the jungle and I'm sure yeah this is not even funny the most played champs like a lot the champions that I played a lot I'm not sure so first of all is Garen and Darius and Nasus for the top lane then in jungle I played Udyr a lot because he's fun to play and you can do a lot of things with him and then Xin Zhao because uh, he's not as easy to play but the thing is with his playstyle comes a lot of uh, things to do oh we have the Fortnite so here we are guys we have Fortnite so the, par the whole thing about this video was to play Fortnite like port it from your one PC to another and hope it works and Let's just hope it works. We're gonna close this one. This one we need to play it right now. So we're gonna launch our Fortnite. We're gonna see what happens, and it's gonna run. I hope, and we can record it too because it would be really, really bad if I can't record it. That would be a no-brainer. Mm hmm. 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 15 gigabytes of data for it to work because we are smart and we do not use internet data for downloading things that we already have. Hmm. <coughs> it's 
it's gonna load it's gonna take time but that's about it for now but so I'm gonna show you real quick this is my channel I would like you to subscribe it to it this is the subscribe button and if you can subscribe hit the bell icon and you get my notifications instantaneously as I, as I upload the video but I'm gonna unsubscribe myself because that would be wrong so uh, see you guys for another video hey guys this uh, for, for, for the first part of this video I'm going to explain to you how you can actually extract the Fortnite files from your current PC where the Fortnite is actually working in this PC the Fortnite is actually working I know that much already what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my computer my C drive and the program files not the x86 program files but the actual program files and I'm going to go and I'm going to copy this epic games folder this epic games folder in the program files I'm going to copy it and I'm going to place it anywhere other than my C drive because that's where I'm going to do my new window or maybe I want to give it to somebody else so I'll put it in a portable drive and just to be sure you can't put it on a small USB that is like even a 32 gigabytes US uh, gigabytes USB will not be able to take this much data because it's a 31 gigabytes of data and a 32 gigabytes of USB only has 29.9 gigabytes of storage somehow but well as you understand what I'm saying it would be wise to use a bigger USB or to just use a portable hard drive with a lot more capacity than the 32 gigabytes and once you have done this uh, you just need to follow what I'm going to explain in the next part and if I place this here I can just copy this folder onto my desktop and that would just not be some sort of an issue for me so 